So in this video, you're going to see a pretty graphic abscess. If you enjoy the video, click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost any money. All it does is let you know when there's a new video coming out so that you can watch it. <music> So here's a deep abscess in the right digit of a right back foot on this cow. Now, I've applied a block, I've trimmed it as carefully as I can because the internal anatomy of this foot's actually changed. So you need to trim it in a different way. You can't use your normal parameters for a foot like this. Now, why am I putting a syringe needle into this foot? Well, there's extreme pressure built up in that digit and I can feel it easily. So I need to relieve this cow of pressure. Every time she presses on the ground, whether she's got the block on or not, there's going to be pressure on that digit and it hurts a lot. So we need to relieve the pressure for this cow and let her walk more easily. This video isn't just about a squirt and abscess. It's about why that digit has descended down so deep. Now, if you look at the top of the heel, so the back of the heel, the bulbous part, you can actually see that it's extremely enlarged. Now, what's happening in there is the abscess is actually forming new tissue and because the body's fighting against this abscess and has been for quite some time, there's actually new bone forming inside that abscess. So that bulbous area that you can see isn't just flesh, it's bone, tissue, flesh and horn. So this is never going to revert back to how it should be, but we need to make her as comfortable as possible. Now speak to your vet because I'm not an expert and I'm not allowed to say um, use antibiotics, use anti-inflammatories but these sorts of actions are the only thing that's gonna make her much, much more comfortable. Yes, the block will relieve some pressure now that the pus has been released, released from the digit, but it will not make her truly comfortable or as comfortable as she can be. Now, in the long term, this cow is gonna need trimmed and re-trimmed. She's gonna need intensive care, if you like, for feet, for the rest of her career, as it were. Now. That might mean that you're hardly trimming her whatsoever, but you are applying that block every couple of months or every time it wears out. The block I'm using in this video should last six to seven or eight weeks, and then it'll need replaced. Six or seven or eight weeks after that, it'll need replaced again. And if that's what it takes to make this cow comfortable, then that is the best thing to do. Now, if you look at the internal anatomy of this cow here, um, you can see P1, P2, P3, the pedal bone, um, the navicular bone actually isn't in this diagram, but you can see the bones here. And on the right hand side of her foot, the bottom two bones are the ones that are being severely affected by this abscess. Now in this um, animation that you can see, the bones are actually in good shape. This is not how it looks on the inside of this cow's foot. Obviously we can't peel back the skin and the flesh um, to show you because I'm pretty sure she wouldn't enjoy it. But what's happening in there is, the pedal bone and the bone above it are now very nodular. They're greatly increased in size because of the bone, um, the extra bone structure, and that is irreversible. Why is the bone growing though? Well, the cow is pumping blood constantly to this abscess site to, to fight the infection, and that increased blood flow um, and the fight of the white cells, these the bacteria, if you like, is causing the bone to grow. Now it doesn't grow uniformly, so it's not just a larger digit. It's actually nodular. There will be lots of fingers and bones and bumps and lumps. And these bumps and lumps are pushing against the corium and the periopal horn. So all that soft tissue horn on the back of the heel is being pushed against these nodules on the skeleton of the cow. And it's hurting every time she walks. So like I said, it's completely irreversible now, but what you need to do is make her as comfortable as possible so that she can see out her life in as much comfort as possible and be productive for you on the farm. So to sum up, this abscess matters greatly to this cow. It's not gonna be a quick fix. It's not even gonna be a fix necessarily. We've released the pressure using the syringe needle. You can see the amount of pressure that's been in that horn capsule. We've applied a block and we've done a therapeutic trim. You also might have applied NSAIDs, so non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and you might have used antibiotics. It's up to you, it's up to the vet. All of these treatments, if carried out correctly, will make this cow more comfortable, more profitable, and much healthier for the future, which helps you and helps the cow. So this has been how to treat 
an extended abscess. So, so an abscess that has been with this cow for a period of time and how to treat her in the future. If there's any questions, hit them in the comments. Cheers.